Okay, so we have to solve this differential equation. So the goal here is to try to separate everything. We want all of the x's on one side and all of the y's on the other side. So maybe we'll start by dividing by y and multiplying by dx. So we have x dy over y and then multiply by dx that'll give us 8 dx. We're not quite there, so maybe now we can divide by y in the next step. That'll put us at dy over y equals 8 over x dx. So you can go straight to this step. You can go from here to here. So what is the thought process there? Let's go through that. So basically the dx comes over here, and then the y goes down here, and then you divide by the x. And that puts you in this position here. So now that we're in this position, what we can do is we can integrate both sides. So integrate, integrate. So whenever you have dy over y, that's the same thing as one over y. That integrates to the natural log of the absolute value of y and that's equal to you can pull out the 8 or just let it hang out that will give you 8 natural log absolute value of x plus our arbitrary constant of integration now I'd like to go ahead and solve for um, y in this problem and I see that the y is trapped inside this natural log so I'm gonna go ahead and not call it c I'm gonna call it c tilde because it's going to change throughout the process. So to get rid of the natural log, this is a key step, we exponentiate both sides. So you put an e here, and you put an e here. And so this entire piece here is your exponent. These cancel, so we get the absolute value of y is equal to, and this is equal to e to the 8 natural log, absolute value of x, times e to the c tilde. This is super key to understand. So when you multiply these, you end up adding the exponents, right? So very key. It's like if you had e to the x times e to the y, that's e to the x plus y. Same thing is happening here. We have 8 ln x plus c tilde. There it is. So super key step. We're almost there. This is the absolute value of y. I'm going to put the e to the c tilde in the front. Boom. And let's bring this 8 upstairs using the power rule of logs. That puts us here. These cancel. So we get absolute value of y equals e to the c tilde times x to the 8th. Now, you can leave the absolute value, or you can drop it. x to the 8th is always positive, or 0, so it's not necessary. When you drop the absolute value here, though, you do get a plus or minus. So you get plus or minus e to the c tilde, x to the 8th. And then what happens here is that this piece here, this is arbitrary. You don't know what c tilde is. You don't know what e to the c tilde is. And you put a plus or minus in front of it. You still don't know what it is. So just rename it and call it C, and that would be the answer. So what happened to this? Well, we just did this, where C is equal to plus or minus E to the C tilde. So you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to rename constants. This is a really nice example because this procedure happens over and over and over again, and it's really important to understand every single step. This is a reoccurring um, thought process. I hope this video has been helpful in some way.